This is the real Tom Rose. And this question is a simplified version of a very famous question called the Einstein problem. Uh, the Einstein problem was made famous because, uh, mainly because Einstein claimed that 98% of the world couldn't solve it. And uh, I guess this triggered a lot of people to go and try to solve it because they wanted to prove Einstein wrong. Um, and this problem is fairly similar. At the end of this video, I'll show you a link to the real Einstein problem, and you can go check that out if you're interested. Um, but let's tackle this one first. Um, what we care about at the end is um, the total number of gray shirts, right? And we want to know sort of information about the boundaries of what G could or could not be. So I'm going to go through this, and while I'm doing it, I'm going to keep my mind on the number of gray shirts. Okay, so it says shirt one was white. So I'll put the color and also number of grays. Um, if, if shirt one was white, all right, so we know it's white, so there's zero grays from rule one. Shirt two was gray, so we know it's gray, so that gives us a, a single guaranteed gray. Shirt number three was not white, but it could be gray or black. So I'm going to put down either one or zero. The fourth shirt was the same color as shirt one, which means the, first, the fourth shirt is white, so we get zero. And shirt five is the same color as shirt three, which must be either gray or black. But there's a little twist here. Um, so shirt five is one or zero. But the twist is shirt three and shirt five are not free to choose themselves. These two choices are linked. So whichever one we pick, the other must be the same. So I'm going to cross these rows out and summarize them into a new row, which is either 2 or 0, right? Because if they're both black, we have 0 grays. If they're both gray, we have 2 grays. So when you sum all this up, we end up with either 3, right, the sum of the 1 and the 2, or you end up with 1, which would be the sum of the 1 and the 0. And that's the number of gray shirts, either three or one. Um, so let's go look at the answer choices. A says the only possible value of G is one. And we know that's not true, because we just showed it could be three. So that's out. B says the only possible value of G is two. We know G can't be two. C says the only value is three, but we just showed it could be one. D says the only possible value is one, two, or three, but we know it can't be two. And E says the only possible values of G are 1 and 3, which is a perfect match to what we have. So E is the correct answer. Now, if you're interested in the original Einstein problem, you can check that out right here. This is something I found randomly on Google. So this is not my website. So feel free to go there. But if it's gone, uh, not my fault. But I'm sure you can search for the Einstein problem and be just as satisfied.